It can sometimes be hard to distinguish between the adorable Boston Terrier and the French Bulldog. They do look quite similar, but cuteness and those adorable upright ears aside, there are a lot of similarities and differences between the two breeds. Let's learn more about these lovable dogs and choose a favorite, if that's even possible. Let's get started. But before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to become part of our notification squad to not miss a single fact. When we examine the histories of these two breeds, it's easy to see why they're often confused. The French Bulldog and the Boston Terrier share a common ancestor, the English Bulldog. The Frenchie, as they are affectionately known by fans, actually started life in jolly old England. During the Industrial Revolution, English lace makers took their small bulldogs with them to work in Normandy, as their furry companions were originally very popular riders. In France, the dogs were then bred with French Terriers to become the French Bulldog we know and love today. The breed became popular with Parisian women who championed their bat-like ears. The Boston Terrier gets its name from, you guessed it, Boston, Massachusetts, in the good old U.S. of A. In the 1870s, the American-made breed was originally a cross between the English Bulldog and the now extinct English White Terrier called the Hooper's Judge. Over the years, crossbreeding with the English Bull Terrier, the Boxer, the Pit Bull Terrier, and the French Bulldog resulted in what is now the modern Boston Terrier. An interesting fact, the Boston Terrier was the first non-sporting breed created in the U.S. The most obvious place to start when trying to determine who is who among these two dogs is appearance. While they do have similarities, such as short snouts, dark or minimal tails, short coats, upright ears, bug eyes, and adorable smiles, there are some differences that make it easy to tell them apart. The French Bulldog has shorter legs and a more muscular build than its Boston counterpart, as well as a heavier bone structure. It also has a large square-shaped head with rounded tips on its bat-like ears. The Boston Terrier, on the other hand, has longer, leaner legs, a rounded head with pointed tips on its ears. Their flatter faces mean that both dogs are brachycephalic breeds. Their tiny nostrils, long palates, and narrow tracheas can cause health and breathing problems. Boston Terriers and French Bulldogs are both similarly sized small dogs. The Frenchie is the heavyweight of the two, usually weighing between 20 and 28 pounds and standing between 14 to 16 inches tall, while the Boston Terrier usually weighs between 15 to 25 pounds at 11 to 13 inches tall. Both breeds have short coats, making grooming low maintenance. Since their hair is so short, there is little to no odor and mild shedding. Boston Terriers are known as the American Gentlemen for their tuxedo-like markings in brindle, seal, or black with white. The French Bulldogs have a much wider variety of colors that include brindle, brindle and white, cream, fawn, fawn and white, fawn brindle, white, white and brindle, white and fawn, and, and more. Due to their short coats, both breeds can be sensitive to extreme cold. They may be small in size, but both Frenchies and Bosties are far from small in personality. Both breeds are very friendly, loving breeds and make excellent family companions. The Boston Terrier can be lively, alert, and intelligent and can go from having burst of energy to wanting to curl up and have a cuddle. The Frenchie, also nicknamed the clown in a cloak of a philosopher for his entertaining personality, has an equally friendly disposition. Frenchies are renowned for making their owners laugh, are very affectionate, and love to cuddle. 
Boston Terriers learn quickly and are great dogs for first-time dog owners looking for an obedient dog who will listen most of the time. French Bulldogs, like most bully breeds, can be a bit on the stubborn side and may require constant training to nail down the behaviors you're looking for. Boston Terriers are active dogs. They love to jump, run, play, and chase, and are occasionally known to swim. They can be great running companions as long as you're aware of the science that they may be overheating due to their short snout. Some Boston Terriers can become obsessed with doggy toys and may want to play non-stop. French Bulldogs are more on the relaxed side due to their heavier build, which makes them less agile when it comes to running and jumping, but they can be energetic as well. A long walk or mild hike is a great source of exercise for a French Bulldog who is prone to obesity if not exercised regularly. Both breeds adapt very well to apartment living. They're both great at being able to control their energy indoors and are very adaptable to new living situations. Both dogs are super loving breeds and make great family pets. The average lifespan of a French Bulldog is over 10 to 12 years, while Boston Terriers live 13 to 15 years. Their short muzzles make them both prone to respiratory problems and are at risk of heat stroke in hot weather. As stated earlier, French Bulldogs can suffer from obesity if overfed and underexercised. They can also have problems with their eyes, heart, and back. Boston Terriers are prone to cataracts and seizures and may suffer from allergies and deafness. And while this is not a health concern, well at least not for the dog, the Frenchie is notorious for its not so pleasant smelling gas. This little dog can literally clear a room and look at you like you did it. So which breed wins this bad-eared battle, the OG French Bulldog or the American Gentleman, the Boston Terrier? That's up to you. You tell us in the comments. If there are other breeds you'd like us to compare, shout them out. We'll give them a look. If you like this video, check out some of our other videos here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more cute cuddly canines. And as always, catch you next time.